I was in the United States Navy. I was stationed in Pearl Harbor. Well, I'm 82. I was in the Marine Corps in 44. This goes back to 1944, Paris Island. I was in the service during the Korean War. Uh, first, I, I took basic training with uh, the 82nd Airborne Division. I was in the Army for three and a half years. I was overseas. Uh, I was I was in uh, I was in the service in the Air Force for three years during World War II. We're grateful for the time that we served. This was a war against fascism. We all part participated with it. We did whatever we can to bring democracy uh, to, the, to the rest of the world. Many of my generation have profited tremendously, myself included, from the GI Bill. My financial career as an accountant depended on my getting a college education from the GI Bill. Those who serve deserve the right to have a good education. and They have contributed to the the greatness of this country. Veterans of, of the Iraqi war, they should be entitled to it. McCain said uh, it was, uh, this is not a good idea. Not wanting to give them anything. I would rather have Barack Obama five to one, a hundred to one, a thousand to one than McCain. I don't know. I don't buy the fact that he's considered a hero. A lot of my young men suffered during being prisoners of war and so forth. Uh, they came home, they had their responsibility. And just, he was in the Navy, so was I, and so was hundreds of thousands of other men in the Navy. And they've all gone through serious uh, uh, incidents. With, any of them could be a hero, not just him. I have friends of mine that were prisoners of camp that I played cards with every week. They're the heroes. They're the ones who kept us alive. They're the ones who kept our country going. So it's, uh, it's a little bit difficult for me to understand how he became a war hero. He's a veteran, he suffered, he's a prisoner of war. A lot of people, I know other people who are prisoners of war. But I really don't know how that qualifies him as a war hero. I really don't. I don't think McCain's POW or veteran status would make him any more equipped to to be commander-in-chief. I don't think I'd want him telling me what to do or telling what the uh, Air Force or the Navy or the Army. He gets, if you look at him, his temperament, he, you know, he, could, he has his hand on that red button. He could push it anytime he wants, and I, I sort of am afraid of it. He's liable to get that way. Someone say something the wrong way, and say, screw you. I don't want to use any other language. It's not right. But he, that's just what he would say. And I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what you say. And I think we had enough of that with Bush. We, I don't need McCain to do that again. I want to see a man who, who wants peace, who wants to be able to talk to all the countries uh, and make peace with them so they can respect us. McCain isn't going to get the respect. That's how I feel. As a World War II veteran, I would support Obama as a commander in chief. When people raise the question about, oh, he doesn't have 20 years of experience, you don't need 20 years of experience to understand what's good and bad in the world. Obama is a brilliant young man, and he will surround himself with the proper people, military people, just as in other areas we also have brilliant people. So you're asking me about Obama? I would have no problem saluting him as the Commander-in-Chief. I'm an ex-Marine, I can do that. I know what I'm talking about.